South Sudan became independent on 9 July 2011. However, the situation is still precarious. How does the future of this new country look like? Overall, I'm, I'm quite pessimistic because I feel that the fact that the modalities of the divorce have not been uh, well established before the separation of the country um, mean that uh, the potential for renewed conflict, as we're already seeing all around the border, um, is only increasing. Um, and um, as long as politicians in both Khartoum, in North Sudan, in Juba, and South Sudan continue to believe that violence uh, can solve uh, political problems, both internally and externally, I think we're in for a pretty violent uh, ride in the years uh, to come. Development aid or development cooperation seldom makes or breaks uh, a country. It is one of many factors that can either spoil the environment or contribute to a more uh, beneficial uh, cycle. Um, I think that for development projects to be effective, they have to be very focused, very narrow, very realistic and clear in their objectives. And when they are, I think they can make a tangible difference for a small, for a limited group of people, even if they're unlikely to fundamentally change the predicament of course, a lot of, of a lot of people in, in South Sudan. Fundamentally, the solutions will have to be Sudanese and African, as opposed to coming from the outside. Well, I, th I think the EU could play a meaningful role by, in a, by taking a stance on a, on a, on a handful of priorities. Uh, press freedom is one, it could take a stance on education, but not to try to do everything or to try to reshape the entire political process. I think this would be a major fallacy.